Hi, I'm Ross Trainer from Cisco. I'm a security specialist for Cisco Vulnerability Management, which was formerly known as Kenna Security. Now, today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and accurately identify the riskiest 5% of all of your software vulnerabilities so you can focus on those that truly matter for effective remediation. So this is your Cisco Vulnerability Management Dashboard. You can see here the risk score of the business, which is out of a thousand, so the lower the better. Now, imagine yourself as both SecOps and ITOps. So for SecOps, we can see here the overall number of vulnerabilities is just over 318,000, which from your perspective is very high and poses a huge amount of risk to your business. Now imagine your IT ops and you receive those 318,000 vulnerabilities in Excel or some other format and you're told to go and remediate them ASAP to reduce risk. Where do you start? Which vulnerabilities are the most important to remediate? How can I trust this data? Because if everything is a priority, then nothing is. So now I'm moving to a high level dashboard where we've already ingested the vulnerability data from the various scanning vendors and other sources that you have. So each of these circles here is a risk meter for a specific group of assets. Think of these as a saved search, essentially. So I'm gonna move down here to the Windows risk meter. And this is the first stage of prioritizing. You can see here, 651 assets and just a touch over 26,000 vulnerabilities. So as SecOps, I could cut tickets from here to the remediation team for all of these but that's still a lot of vulnerabilities to remediate and chances are they won't be done, SLAs will be missed and risk not reduced. So let's have a look at this vulnerabilities tab here. We can see there are a lot of vulnerabilities with a high risk score. So again, how do we discern which is the most important? And it's all about evidence-based prioritization. If I just click into this CVE here, you'll see what I mean. So under known exploits, you can see it's not just Cisco saying that these vulnerabilities are currently being exploited out there in the wild, but it's actually other third parties corroborating it. So let's go back to the fixes tab, which as you can see here has over 1200 fixes. Now you might think that this first fix, which affects 2048 vulnerabilities and 256 assets might be a good place to start. But this would be a false positive from an operational perspective because you can see the highest vulnerability score is 48 out of 100. So remediating this isn't really gonna improve your risk posture because it's not high risk. So what we do as either SecOps or if self-served by IT ops themselves is we go over to this top fixes button. So Cisco vulnerability management will essentially take all of those 26,000 vulnerabilities and amazingly help you to prioritize the top three fixes, which will maximize your risk reduction in the least possible time with the least amount of effort. You don't have to identify the vulnerability, research the risk or find the fix. It's all there for you. And instead of cutting a huge number of tickets for 26,000 vulnerabilities, you're cutting just one ticket with three fixes. IT ops is happy as they aren't swamped with a huge number of vulnerabilities and, and they trust the data. And SecOps is happy because risk exposure is reduced and the board are obviously happy as they are less likely to be breached. So everyone wins, including yourself. Thanks for checking out Cisco Quick Bytes.